Node-RED is an easy to use programming tool for wiring together IoT hardware devices, APIs, storage, and online services. It's ideal for home automation, IoT, and IIoT. It's also ideal for edge computing where you can do on-site data concentration, logging, analytics, alarming, and even conversion to real-time protocols. This makes it ideal to run on even the smallest operating systems such as the Raspberry Pi or industrial devices like the Zoom IQ. The flows in Node-RED are stored using JSON which can be easily imported and exported for sharing with others. The lightweight runtime is built on Node.js, taking full advantage of its event-driven, non-blocking model. An online flow library allows you to share your flows and get samples. Node.red is open source, extensive, lightweight, easy to install, and easy to learn. And there is also rapid growing adoption. Let me very quickly give you a Hello World example. So we're going to use the UI dashboard button and then also a text box. Wire those up. When we click the button, we want to say, hello world. I'm going to put this on the demo tab. And then I also need to put my text block on the demo tab. Deploy. We go ahead and pull up the dashboard demo tab, click the button, hello world. There's a built-in palette manager where you can install new modules. So let's say you want to extend the functionality of Node-RED to FTP. Or what if you wanted uh, Node-RED to communicate using Modbus? You can select from these modules and hit install. I would like to give you a few more examples of what you could build with Node-RED. The possibilities are truly endless. So, for instance, if we wanted to bring in data from a serial port, we could add a function. Functions where you can add custom JavaScript. So let's say we needed to convert the data. Then we wanted the data to go out and we wanted to send it via MQTT over the internet. In the industrial world, what if we um, wanted to read some Modbus registers from a PLC? Let's say we were going to read um, tank levels and at some criteria, which we would put in the function, we would like to turn a pump on or off. So then we would go ahead and do a Modbus write. Let's say if our tank level got too high or too low, we can bring that same uh, level in here and then based on some criteria, send an email message. Uh, so it, almost like an alarming system. You can also connect to lots of different cloud services. So for instance, this is Microsoft Azure. Um, and we have things like computer vision where you can send it a picture, you could detect emotion. And then finally, here's a more advanced example where we can trigger um, Node-RED to go capture a photo either from a security camera or from a website and it passes it to computer vision and outputs text and audio description of what's in the picture. So these are just a few examples of uh, what you could build. The possibilities are truly endless.